Hello and welcome to Hardy Party at Five and a Half. We are on location in Salem, Massachusetts for you. And this is like Christmas time for Hocus Pocus fans. They, they are, are everywhere. everywhere. That's right. Our first location for the movie Hocus Pocus. Here's a clue. I put a spell on you and now you're mine. You sure did put a spell on me, baby. <laughs> but that doesn't matter right now. We're in front of the old town hall. That's right. Where Renifred put a spell on all the parents in town and they danced all, all night, night long. long. That's right. Follow us along as we go to more locations from the movie Hocus Pocus. And then we have a special guest at the end. Let's go. Okay, we are on foot in Salem, Massachusetts. That's right. We had to go on foot because the street's blocked off. Because probably there's a lot of people that would love to come around here and see this house. Like tour buses and stuff. But here's the house we're at. Are you ready? Boom. It's Max and Danny's house. How cool is that? It's a private resident now. And they say they're pretty cool about it. So... Here we are. I could totally live here, except for in October. Okay, Rebecca, we made it through the rain to Pioneer Village. This is the first living history museum in the US, built in 1930. And it depicts life like it was in Salem in the 1600s. That's so crazy. Also, this is where all the historical scenes from Hocus Pocus were filmed. And it's closed because we got here too late. That's right. So I'm going to shimmy over this wall and no. we're going to check this out. You're not going to shimmy over the wall because you're evil or you're going to get arrested or burnt at the stake. So mm. we're going to leave now. Okay, Rebecca, where are we now? This is the house of Allison, Max's crush. And it's where Jay and Ice were bullying kids for their candy. That's right. There's a garden gate right here open to the public. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. Okay, here we are checking out the garden. That's right, it's been a little rainy, so we're gonna just dodge these puddles. This is called Ropes Mansion. Hmm. Let's see, it's very popular here the week before Halloween. Oh, that's right. We're going through the spooky tunnel. Ooh, okay. There's a witch over there. I wonder oh, if she's a real witch. <laughs> oh, wow, it's so oh, pretty. Oh, look at this. I wonder if they rent this for weddings. Oh, look, there's a pond over there. Look at that. Super cool. There's a church next door. Miss this puddle. <laughs> Let's go see what's in the very middle. So beautiful. Even on a late October day. Huh. Got a sundial. What time is it, Rebecca? I have no idea. Uh, I can't tell from that. I bet there's a lot of weddings and seances here. <laughs> <laughs> or both at the same time. Or both. Super pretty, there's the witch. Yeah. Hey, I think I could live here. You think? It's a little too much for me. I don't think so. Okay. This is the high school from Hocus Pocus. And it's where the Sanderson sisters and the kids faced off and they threw them in a kiln and thought they burnt them up. Babe, does every high school have a kiln? Well, my high school had a kiln, but it definitely wasn't a walk-in. We're here at our final stop in Salem, Massachusetts. This is Old Burial Hill Cemetery. There's some actual witches buried here from the Salem Witch Trials. Mm, spooky. So spooky. Also, Hocus Pocus was filmed here. This is where Jay and Ice meet Max for the first time. Scott, can you believe we're here? Rebecca, how many times do I have to tell you my name's not Scott, it's Ice. You're not Ice. But speaking of Ice, we did interview Ice from the original Hocus Pocus, the OG Ice. And this interview was totally amazing. I hope you guys enjoy it. Here it is. I put a spell on you. And now you're gone. So Larry Babby, thank you so much for joining Hardy Party of Five and a Half. We're so excited that you're here. People love Hocus Pocus. I mean, they love it. So yes, everybody's doing a party dance. We've been talking you up for a while now because 
people love this movie. So, yeah. but let's talk like, about you. You've like, been on stage since and since you were twelve. Like, how, what's performing been like for you? Um, like that's a that's a long time. Yeah, I it's always just been part of like who I am. I I believe you know. Um, it was just com- it was comfortable for me. Mm-hmm. kind of stepping into it and I, I realized uh, I wasn't very sh- I wasn't really shy I was always uh, outgoing and I, I think it was also due to the fact that my my parents always encouraged us to get up and sing and you yeah. know do whatever, whatever creative things and my dad <clears throat> he grew up playing the accordion believe it or not and he's a really he was a really great accordion accordionist i don't know he said according to him he was a <laughs> great accordion accordion guy <laughs> um so like through the years it, you know he, he he had a he had a band that he played with for many years to help get pay and pay his way through college he was a ucla graduate oh, i ended yeah. up getting his ring from <laughs> 1979 oh, awesome. 71 Wow. So cool ring, huh? Yeah. Um, and I'm surprised it actually fits me now. I don't think his hands were um, smaller uh, than mine. But um, <clears throat> anyway, so I, I had a lot of opportunities growing up to just get on stage. And then um, I remember one of my first musicals in fifth grade was uh, uh, The Wizard of Oz. Mm-hmm. And I played Oz. All right. <laughs> sing and act and dance and i i just kind of liked it you know and yeah. uh so that's where it all began and and then it really it, it, i started taking it um more serious as a kid even uh, when we moved to california so we were living i was born in northern california bill air force base um mm-hmm. uh, in marysville and then my um we moved to utah oh. which is where, where i'm living now again and uh, we lived here till I was like 11 and then moved to Southern California, Thousand Oaks, Westlake area. Yeah. And that's when I got into the business. Um, there was a career day at our church and my dad was, was talking about music and, you know, financial planning because he did all that stuff for a living. And across the way, there was uh, the school, little school called the Hollywood Film School. <laughs> uh, come, and have, come and have your kids screen test and see if they're the, the future stars of America. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I and we, me and my all my siblings went down. I have a brother and two sisters. I, I think my brother was too young at the time, but uh, we all kind of got involved and started taking classes. And, but I stuck with it. And it wasn't long before the, one of the teachers slash managers um, brought me on and said, I think you, I think you got something. Why don't we get you some headshots, you know, little composites where you have different like looks back in the day it was like three or four different looks like the mechanic or the bully or <laughs> the, the nerd you know <laughs> now it's a little different um but uh, that's how it all began and uh, i think it was my around my fourth audition i booked a movie that was called invasion earth and i had got to go to san pedro and film it was a couple of weeks that we shot and it was in a movie theater because we're supposed to be uh, in a movie theater watching sci-fi and then aliens come and invade. And, uh, but I was hooked at that point because I was like, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, people are paying me to do this. <laughs> pretend aliens are I'm dead. like hanging out. I'm, I made some, I still have the friends that I made on that set. Uh, my friend Christian and I, we like hit it off. He was a little older than I, so he had, a, he was driving. He had a little MR2. He liked <laughs> magic and comedy and, ag- and all these things. So you know some of the relationships that began you know uh, way back when even though the movie was uh, somewhat of a failure i was sold i was like this is great i i want and then i all the food they make and stuff i was like this is amazing like i'm not even hungry i'm gonna i want to eat yeah <laughs> give me the catering <laughs> yeah the, the craft craft <laughs> service um <clears throat> but anyway yeah so that so i i, I just jumped right in and um, it wasn't long before um, I was working. I was doing some TV commercials, and um, the residuals and all these things were great. It helped me kind of pay for some things going through school, and and just you know put some money away, and, and that was nice too. Yeah. Um, my first guest star on TV was Mr. Belvedere. Oh wow! I love that show. Yeah. I love that show. And it was with Seth Green. Uh, he was my 
he was my little sidekick. We were bullies in that as well. <laughs> <laughs> so we're stealing Wesley's lunch money. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I probably play the bullies, but I'm certainly not one. But I've been bullied, <laughs> and I've probably bullied some people along the way. I'm... Yeah, so yeah, we, that. yeah, we talked to Thomas Tulak, who was in Hook. He was like one of the Lost Boys, the littlest one. Yeah, we were talking oh. to him about like you talk about you fell in love with movie making, but what it what was it like younger, <laughs> like hanging out? And you had it seems like you have to wait so long between takes. So as a kid. How did you fill that time? Yeah, you didn't have a cell phone or yeah, an right. iPad to play on. Well, yeah. Just had well, a like, like cards or something? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Uno? <laughs> no. Um, yeah, you know, there. I guess that's interesting to think about because, yeah, I, I mean, you might read a book or, or something, but most of the time we just mess around. And uh, I got a video camera early on. I bought this little cam you know vhsc the compact vhs and the small mm -hmm. and you'd have to put it in the big vcr tape and so we started like we would just make movies like in between like <laughs> and if i even if i wasn't working on a film me and my cousin and friends would just make these little home movies and make up our own stories and do like fake you know make dummies and throw them off to make it look like <laughs> fake, kind of thing. fake awesome. stuff you know and then dub it in later with like our mouse or <laughs> I, I was the machine gun sound. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh no! <laughs> um, Your own and yeah. artist, and yeah, I was I was doing it. We were just learning. We loved just make believing. I think that's what I think what that's what's so appealing about the arts and music, yeah. acting is. We get to really kind of like, you kind of be kids again and and just play make believe. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was kind of, I, I guess there was, you know, the in between, we, you know, you, they'd have to have a trailer if it was like a union thing. So you'd have your own trailer, but most of the time we'd like hang out and like at the craft service table and, you know, <laughs> maybe bring a hacky sack or something, but it was always fun. We didn't, we didn't think too much about it. As I've gotten older, I, I, I feel like my patience has gone a little where I'm like, Oh, this is a long day and I, you're stuck in you know a trailer because you got to stay there until we're done and yeah. sometimes it's hot or cold or uncomfortable in what you're wearing or whatever it be yeah but overall you know it is work and there's many times i the other night when i'm doing i was doing this all night shoot for this horror film up here in utah i'm playing a truck driver but we're sitting in the tent and it's like four in the morning 4 a.m our call time was like 9 a.m., 9 p.m., I'm sorry. So we waited, I waited, no, eight hours before I even work. I was like, I'm trying to stay awake. I bring my guitar, and, you know, I write some stuff, that, you know, or yeah. listen to some, or try to watch some stuff. But we're out in the middle of the kind of nowhere, so the, there's no reception many times or Wi-Fi, so you can't even get on and watch Netflix. But um, <laughs> it, I just sat there with these other younger actors and I'm like, uh, what a glamorous job we had. <laughs> I'm like, people people think this is probably really glamorous. Yeah, right, this, yeah. Is, yeah. this is not fun. Like yeah. there's a lot of uncomfortable moments sitting around or or well, trying to get the, the scene right, you know. Uh, well, you don't you don't know this about the Hardys, but we got kind of bored during COVID and we actually pulled our family together and said we're going to refilm the goonies and we're going to do it our own way so everybody had to take two or three roles and yeah we had oh, fun. filmed it for like i don't know what seven days people seven were days. people were quitting <laughs> i mean everybody hated each other it's our whole people family were getting fired <laughs> It was, uh, it was coming so, back it was so <laughs> exhausting yeah. and i mean of course everybody had to change costumes to raise we have like we have a bunch of costumes from church camp and stuff so we're like yeah. going to the shed finding all these things does this fit you you can be mouth okay <laughs> it was so crazy yeah, ridiculous. yeah. So. and it could turn it could turn any family against each other yeah. <laughs> oh yeah we have a small idea of what you're talking about after yeah that. it's very small yeah. very small the, idea. The yeah. very small like unpaid a... idea yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it gave us something to do for a week man. i mean we were bored yeah, yeah. We were creative we had to do yeah something. you know what like I think everybody had to come up with new ideas. Like I think yeah. people finally, you know, started cleaning out, like spring cleaning and yeah. whatever. Crazy there was a lot of like moving around, going through boxes, like uh, trying to find. You had to find your 
kind of your groove during yeah. that. Time. Yeah, I bet a lot of things got donated to Goodwill during that time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how does it feel to be known as Ernie the bully from Ice? I mean, how does it feel to be known as that person? Everybody knows who that is. I mean, that's so cool. Also, in the process, tell us about all the cool things behind you. Oh. All the stuff you're holding. Well, let's go there for a second. Bro. Yeah, let's go there. What do we have? You guys tell me I can't see from here. Yeah, well, you've got the candle. They got the candle. Oh, Mickey, what are you doing there? Oh, there's Mickey. Mr. Disney. <laughs> oh, there's some more stuff here. Oh, my gosh. So, what are the shoes? Are those the shoes? Cross trainers. Well, I bought some that kind of look like them. Yeah, that look like well, that. Well, I didn't buy them. Somebody gifted those. This sweet girl, Avery, <laughs> found them and signed them for me. Sent them to me. Isn't that nice? Because in the movie, Max takes them back. So you mm -hmm. wouldn't have them. That's right. I wouldn't have them. That's right. That's yeah. right. Um, That's right. I got... Hocus Pocus hat from from back in the day. That was a, our one of the gifts. Hocus Pocus map thing back here. The spell book. I don't. I usually, you know, I've just been collecting, and I'm, I'm getting a bigger and bigger. Oh, there's the Billy, Billy yeah. the gravestone. The you know, see a little ice um, uh, yeah. chain. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so I, I have I have Jay's. This oh, this is my friend by the way. If anybody wants that T-shirt. Her name, um, um, she's she sells these, and I've been helping her promote them because they're so cool. That she sent so cool. a few a few of them for myself um, and my family. So yeah, that's so. Her, her, she we'll link it on the episode them. team. Yeah, we'll link it. It's uh, these, these and they're guys. really cool because they've got like. I'll show you. These, they're, they're sleeves. I'll show you. You need one of those, babe. Yeah, I do. It's like. They're, and their their materials cool. Oh my gosh, oh, that's nice. so cool! And this is her um her thing here. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's so cool. What's her pretty, name? It's um at pretty nobody. You know, um, she's on my Instagram. Cool. That's so cool. P r e t t y nobody. Yeah. No be nobody. Oh, nobody, not nobody. Nobody. <laughs> oh, that uh, pretty cool, right? Yeah, yes. that's very so nice. So cool, so cool. Um, I'll show you another thing someone did for me. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. <laughs> is the, that the the <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is he awesome. made them out of these, like, big Lego things. Yes. He just, like, I met him at one of these Comic-Cons, and then we signed some stuff, took some pictures. The next day, he comes back, and he's like, I was up all night making this. <laughs> like, oh, wow. That's oh, incredible. Gosh. Super that nice. so cool. Yeah. So um, cool. And then I got, <laughs> I'm like, I'm just promoting for these good for Disney now. I hope they pay me a little more for this. <laughs> I yeah, got the wow. vinyl. That's cool. Of the original. Uh huh. That's oh, cool. wow. got like that cool blue and white swirl vinyl, like one of the vinyls. Is that one? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Your oh. air looks a lot like my office. I have random stuff for my travels. <laughs> Oh man, I I love I collect um, you know Star Wars and all kinds of. Mm. I'm a geek. I'm a nerd too. I have my favorite stuff. That was a a jacket we got back in the day. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Just hope focus. Focus. Nice. That's so neat. Um. Yeah. So it's fun. I, I mean, I it, it really does blow my mind how big the Hocus Pocus has become. Mm -hmm. And you know, I I apparently just. It, it um they, they just reached a new record as far as top streaming um ever wow, um man. hocus pocus 2 but yeah. then hocus pocus the first one has also been viewed a lot since the second one came out yeah um so it'll be interesting to see what kind of residuals come from that if so, if it'll increase or how that works but yeah i i it blows my mind especially this year <laughs> There's been so many amazing things that people have sent, like TikTok videos and stuff. Um, there's this one of this little little kid, like he can't be maybe two, maybe two, maybe not even two. And he's in the ice thing and his mom's pointing, she plays Jay, right? And he's just going like this. <laughs> he's like <laughs> he like gets it, you know. I'm like, this is unbelievable. And this was a new one. My cousin Alex, he's She's a big Disney Disney uh, connoisseur. I, she's got her own, you know how the 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 branding and all that. Like so, they Disney sends her outfits and she puts it on her Instagram, and you know people follow her, so it helps brand. 
but she's uh she's at Disneyland this weekend and she sent me a photo of see if I can pull this up of <clears throat> somebody there dressed these kids dressed as Jay and I's taking oh pictures. Oh my gosh. How fun but is that that people, like almost 30 years later people are dressing up like you? That was a little just about. Oh, oh yeah. How adorable. He's <laughs> definitely got the attitude too. <laughs> Isn't that oh. great? Man, uh, he looks like he's two or three. That is I so mean, funny. it blows my mind. That kind of stuff just makes me laugh. And then this year, oh, by the way, here's the truck driver guy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And, uh, fake tattoos. Those aren't yeah. mine. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it looks scary, huh? Uh, okay, it's a horror Don't look movie. much different now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm kind of a truck driver, type, you know, blue collar. Yeah. So the movie you're working on is a horror movie. Is it a spoiler alert to tell us if you die or not in the horror movie? Oh, I die. Okay. <laughs> I take one for the team, though. I'm, uh, I'll just tell you, I'm in the semi. These kids run up because they're being chased, and I'm taking them into town, and then the people that are after them are shooting my tires out. Anyway, so, yeah, so... the. I, I know that it's uh, it's the end of my time because I'm like you guys got to jump because I'm yeah. I'm I'm going down, <laughs> so I'm like God have mercy Lord here I come. <laughs> so, <laughs> but <clears throat> what I'm more excited about is um and I think I mentioned this is, was why we couldn't do it uh, our podcast earlier. Mm -hmm. Um, I ended up uh, booking a a nice little role on the Kevin Costner's new films called Horizon. Oh. So they're Western. It's like pre-Civil War. Okay. Kind of dan dances with Wolf-esque, you know? Oh, yeah. cool. Um, and I play, a, I can reveal a little bit of this. I'll show you. I just, I, I, I guess we could have done these pictures ahead of time and you could have actually posted them or I could have shared them on the page. But let me show you. <clears throat> so I had grown a pretty decent beard, not beyond my face, but it was getting, you know, pretty thick. And I had to shave it for another gig. They just wanted a mustache. And then the next day I found out, you know, weeks, months later that I booked the Kevin Costner thing. And I'm like, I'm, I shaved. So I'm not sure, you know, what they're going to do with that. Mm -hmm. They said, we'll just start growing it out now. Keep the mustache. So I got to set the first day and um, we were having lunch and I introduced myself to, to Kevin Costner. He's directing and he wrote these and he's starring in them too. And uh, he was like, didn't recognize me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm playing Bill Landry. And he's like, oh, well, make okay, great. Well, make sure they bush you up. I'm like, well, I don't know what that means, but we'll do it. You know? <laughs> so I go, I go to makeup, and like, they they gave me a serious beard, and it looks legit. Let me show you this. <laughs> so they just they they had a piece here that they had like a little piece they glue on, and then they do these. That's kind of what happened here. The skin oh. dried out from the glue and stuff That's over okay. yeah. a couple of weeks. Um, and they would just, they'd have to take it off every day too. So there would be a little yak hair that they would just, yeah. and then they'd comb it and then they'd curl it hot with a hot curler to make it look like it's, because yak hair doesn't curl like human hair. Right? Yeah. So it was, it was an intense, uh, but it was pretty cool. Let me show you. Let me show you just a couple of pictures from this. Here we go. Here we go. Hang on. Oh, oh my goodness. That doesn't even look like you. So the middle part beard. is a solid piece. Oh, <laughs> they got the tooth out too. Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah. So like um middle part's a solid piece and they add on the sides. And like how cool is that? Wow. How pretty hey, legit. And, and then they there's actually a video here of oh well, here's Kim. Oh wow. That's, that's me so cool. behind him. That's yeah. not a bad day at work hanging out with Kevin Costner. Not at all. Okay, so speaking so, of yeah. makeup and hair, did they really for ice, did they shave your head for ice? Did they shave Yes, they head? did. They did. Yeah. And uh they did. I allowed I allowed it. Um yeah, so um I I don't you know, I'm assuming I would have done it anyway even if it was now um for you know it's a movie role it's fun right uh, and it's a memorable part of the movie obviously um but yeah the first you know once once i booked the the role then we 
they sent me down to this barber shop in um in LA, like off of Wilshire and six, like legit. Like I'm like the only white kid in there <laughs> getting eye shaved in the back of my head. So and it was a process, you know. They had they did it and then they wanted to make sure it was right, you know, so they kind of made sure that the lettering was correct and everything. And then once I did it, just I, I think I had to go da- down to that shop again. And when we took a little hiatus, like we had a couple months off, but usually when we were shooting it, they would just make sure that, you know, shave whatever was there, make sure it was nice and clean. Yeah. Shaven. But it was a little challenging. You know, I, was, I grew up um, in the Mormon LDS church and going to church normally like i could you know if i was out and about i could wear a hat backwards and we'd cover you covered up yeah <laughs> you don't wear a hat to church you know so i would just be sitting there and i just <laughs> felt like people were just talking like be literally behind my back right. uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah i told a few people what was going on but i kind of wanted to make everyone else like, just kind of think kind of guess what was happening there gone off the deep end or join some <laughs> rap group or something well did you have to have it done more than once shaved in your head for like yeah, I would yeah. have to keep doing it because you wouldn't be a able couple to- of times. I think it was maybe three times. Yeah, over over a year, of course. But like I said, when when we were shooting for a few weeks at a time, uh, yeah. they would just make sure it was fresh again when yeah. they went back. And I, I, they also dyed my hair black um, or dark. You know, it was yeah, darker. So so. mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, for more sense. contrast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, wasn't it in that graveyard scene the first scene you filmed? it is yeah so what was like that first day on set like your biggest role at the time what was like that, that like on the first day um it was a little intimidating you know i mean we we were excited we got to boston it flew us first class we had a, a limo and all this stuff tobias and i were just like beside ourselves you know <laughs> it, was, it was his first uh movie first anything Oh wow! Professionally, he he grew up in Santa Barbara doing like school plays. That's how they found him in a school play in Santa oh, really? Barbara, a Disney exec. Yeah, so oh. that was the first thing they brought him in for, and he booked it. So wow, he was stoked. Yeah, um, and I've been you know I've been doing doing it uh, professionally since I was like twelve. So mm-hmm. I was seventeen, I think, around eighteen when I booked the film. Mm-hmm. Um. And so we get to the graveyard and uh, it's awesome. It's legit, you know, the amazing colors and big crew and lights and everything, but it was kind of drizzling a little bit of rain. So they had to kind of keep patting down my jacket or give me another jacket. So it didn't see the raindrops on the back of the, you know, changing colors through the scene. Um, but, but I was doing, you know, the first thing and and I just did what we kind of practiced and Tobias and I kind of worked through. Tobias played Jay, okay. for anybody. Who and uh, <clears throat> after the first take, um, Kenny just calls me over. Larry, Larry, uh, great job. Um, it's, it's wonderful. You're doing a great job. I'm really excited about this, but you got to just bring it down. It's, uh, it's like, it's just too big. You got to remember like, the camera it's different than theater like you you don't have to be as big cameras right here oh. so any big movements or big expressions it's all going to be red and he said it's just a little too over the top so i'm thinking oh my gosh i don't know you know i'm pretty good at making adjustments but i was i was nervous because i'm like oh man that you know I, who knows we got it, we got it dialed in and after the first day everything was just pretty smooth sailing because we gained some confidence and Kenny was great. He just knew how to talk to the kids and how to bring out the best. I also, um, the way I developed that character, at least later on, I kind of figured it out is I was doing a musical Grease in high school it was the last musical I did. And I played Sonny, who was a, just a an obnoxious bully type practical joker with the lap. Like, so I had developed all that kind of character and I just put it right into yeah. this ice roll, you know, and it worked. Yeah. So I was, you know, that's one thing I've, I've often told other actors and, you know, continue to work, even if you're not getting paid, do things you like and explore and experiment and just be in motion, you know, be ready. Don't just sit around, wait for auditions because 
sometimes you wait a long time. Yeah. And then you get one and you're just cold. You, 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 you know, it's like, you're not, you're not, you're not used to memorizing. You're not used to doing, you know, it's just like anything. You got to continue, yeah. continue to education. Right. Yeah, for sure. And the Kenny Ortega, you're talking about is the director and he ended up doing high school musical movies. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the Kenny Ortega. Yeah. That's so. Kenny. Yeah. And he did uh, before that, the first big Disney thing was newsies. Oh yeah. Yeah. Huh. which both of those didn't do very well initially hocus pocus and newsies and and he didn't do i think it was a three picture deal and and they cut them after the two. Oh wow oh wow and so you, wasn't christian bale in newsies is that yeah what yeah. yeah wow it goes way back yeah so what was your favorite film like your favorite part of the film like which what's your favorite scene that you filmed was it like hanging in the little cage? Um, there was Andy. there was so many great moments. You know, the the cages were fun because we were literally had the best view, and we could we were watching like <laughs> these brilliant actors. You know, Bette Midler and Sarah Jessica Parker and Kathy just rolling around, and it was a great view. Um, not to mention Sarah looked real good from up there. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Well, we were talking. Some about little children will take you away. Take me away, Sarah. <laughs> well, we were talking about about good friends of ours. Uh, the husband, like Emily, is she's the half in Hardy Party Five and a Half because yeah, she kind of became an honorary best. member of our family. Yeah. And she's a lot shorter than our six four sons. All of our sons are six four, and she's like five two. Oh. So she just loves Hocus Pocus. Oh. Like she's all over it. So we told her we were doing this, and she's so excited. And we, we talked to them, we're like, what is it about Hocus Pocus that's, you know, why is it so dear to you? Mm -hmm. And she was going on about, oh, you know, I watched it in junior high and high school, and it, I watched it again when I was more of an adult, and it just means so much to me, and just all the characters are so funny. And then her husband, Joey's like, it was Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like that was my first crush so that was why he was watching it, so. yeah i thought yeah. she was pretty pretty hot too yeah <laughs> yeah that was I and mean, and it was uh yeah it was just a trip you know like just the biggest film to date that i had worked on so it was a bit like surreal you know yeah. i mean i still get that feeling like even just working with kevin costner it was the first time i've ever worked with him mm -hmm. i've watched him oh so many movies so many great movies over the years and tv shows too now right mm -hmm. and so it's still a little like pinch yourself also what walk the line was a bit like, like that for me with joaquin phoenix and reese right. just being right there and, and we're kind of all together in this movie it's just the band and they're you know june and john and then the band just yeah. me and two other guys yeah. so we were there and like it's just like wow what a, i just am, i'm so grateful that i've been able to to yeah. play you know some iconic roles and about you know historical real people and music and and then hocus pocus is just cozy still even for me i can watch it over and over i get it it's like goonies you yeah. know yeah. Home yeah. Alone, uh, for me, Back to the Future is like that. Um, you know, where it's just like E.T. Yeah. There's just, there's nothing wrong about any of those films. It just mm -hmm. flows and uh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Well, even in, we watched Hocus Pocus a couple more times getting ready for this. And the practical effects really work well, too. Mm -hmm. Like all the effects, but there's not a time that it, the effects take me out of the movie. They all work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 It's, and it's, you know, that was before all the CGI. And, yeah. Yeah. You know, they could even, um, even the word ice, they could have, now they could just put it like <laughs> we did that E, e Entertainment. I don't know if you saw the, the uh, reenactment that Tobias okay, and I, I did. I saw that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that wasn't, that didn't really shave ice in my head. They, they were able to make it look like that. So. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, speaking of walk the line, did you actually have to learn how to play the bass or did you know? I did have to learn how to play the bass. Wow. That's did I tell him I knew how already? You bet I did. <laughs> <laughs> can you ride a horse? Yeah. I can do that. <laughs> Whatever. I'm sure I can. I'm sure I can. Oh, yeah. Wait, did you tell Kevin Costner you could ride a horse? I, I, I said I was a beginner. Oh. I, I haven't and I don't have a horse riding thing as far as I know I think 
And I and I die in that one too. So <laughs> I'm good at that. I, I only I only want roles where I die. Where you okay. die. And I'm your die. I'm your dead guy. <laughs> Okay, that takes me back to the end of Hocus Pocus. What have you ever imagined what happened to Ice when they left him in the cages? What happened to them after that? Have you ever thought about it? Yeah, I mean, we've had plenty of time. We've had about 30 years to think about that. <laughs> yeah, what do you think? Happened? I mean, there's been a million, uh, you know, we've read, uh, you know, other people's ideas and stuff. Yeah, um, okay. I bet that's I, you know, I mean, if, if you realistically, what, what would have happened, um, I think is, you know, the police would have come and, and they would have taken us down and we would have been, we would have PTSD for the rest of our life. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime anybody's... They're still in therapy in today. Halloween or witches or candy. <laughs> and you're not, uh, you're, you definitely wouldn't be bullies again, I don't think. No, I, I mean, I, that leads me to the, uh, to, to the idea of like, if they would have, and maybe they will if there's a third one, like they could have very easily incorporated all the kids into Hocus Pocus 2. You yeah. know, like me dropping off my kid at school. Oh, and yeah. Like, remember what happened to your dad? Like, <laughs> do not mess with people because, yeah. you know, you never know. And then all oh, that Salem witch, that's yeah. all a bunch of Hocus Pocus. Right? Yeah. But maybe the kids, you know, also like has the headphones on and he's got a rat, he's like a rapper type guy. <laughs> no more fights today, son. Yeah. I'll be, uh, you know, I'll be in, I'll be at the office. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it it's interesting. Or you know, maybe you know somebody mentioned that the, kind of the darker side of it would have been that those candles came from us, the dead man's fat. Oh that, yeah. That the the little kid at the time it was pretty yeah. dark, but yeah. the, who was the way uh, the museum owner, right? In the second one, uh -huh. that he. And he mentions, he's like, I, well, I was trick-or-treating and these kids took my candy. Yeah. Or all that went down, you know, that night. He saw it all. But that he would have taken get, taken their fat to make that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah that's, that's the dark version. That's Dead dark man's version. chungs. Oh, gosh. That's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I I'm heard... Mostly like ice. <laughs> When I was watching one of the panels you've done, and you mentioned that, okay, this was a while back, so you were videoing behind the scenes a little bit. Yeah. And is there anything you can share with us that happened behind the scenes that would be funny, or we wouldn't realize what was going on on set that you filmed without getting sued? No, no, that's all good. Um, I think I know what you're talking about there. Um, so yeah, I, like I said, when I was 12, like after I did my first movie, I bought my first camcorder, and I, and I always kept upgrading. So I had a pretty nice, at the time, it was 1992, I had a Canon A1 digital, which is like not, it's a little bit bigger than the compact, but better high eight tapes, you know? And so I was just filming whatever. So we've got footage of all like behind the scenes of us and all of our scenes. And I thought one day it'd be fun to get some behind the scenes of the witches while we're waiting to be put up in the cages or do our scene or whatever. And uh, I was filming and all of a sudden, you know, I, I, I see bet, you know, as Winifred turned to the, right into my camera line. So I'm like, <laughs> Oh, she's like, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's like, what, wait, stop. Everybody stop. What, what are they, who, who, who is this film crew? I'm just like, oh. Kenny's like, Larry, Larry, you can't, you can't film without permission. I'm like, so I don't have permission. <laughs> I guess it, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt to, it'd rather ask permission than uh, ask forgiveness than permission. Yeah. Yeah. So I have that footage, but Tobias remembers just cracking up because he, he, he tells it like, I just like, boom. <laughs> You did Got the spit so take when Beth's looking at you. You did a spit take. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, talk about intimidating as Winifred, too. Well, yeah. Batman and Winifred. I mean, gosh. Goodness. Yeah. So I have I have this footage that but I've told Tobias we need to like we put a couple of things out there, like they used a little bit of it during the free form 25th anniversary. Um, there's some footage of us in our trailer with my camera. At, in oh, cool. costume yeah doing like our stick you know like we we didn't <laughs> stop like we just were always bantering and 
messing with each other. It was it was fun. This was part of the magic of the chemistry on on film. Yeah, no kidding. So, do you still keep up with? I mean, I hear the cast is pretty tight. You keep up with Tobias, and who do you still? Yeah. Do you get to well, now, with Jessica Parker? I'll <laughs> tell you what's been great. <laughs> What'd you say? I'm sorry. Was the last you thing? get to text with Sarah Jessica Parker? Oh yeah, Sarah and I are. Oh, like that. Yeah. yeah of course, Matthew doesn't know, but. Uh... <laughs> <Yeah>. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. It's complicated. Um, it's my Facebook uh, single status. It's complicated. Yeah. Um, so no, you know what's been great is like we've all gotten closer, like through the since really since about the twenty. 20th anniversary we started yeah. reconnecting Tobias and I have always been friends and kept in touch pretty well I mean there have been a few years where you know I moved different places and and we lost touch a little bit but him and I have always remained pretty close um but since we did the like really the 25th anniversary where all of us that really kind of was the hocus pocus too for us because we all got together and we did the special and um and that's when we all kind of started communicating i think it started with just some pictures back and forth through facebook or instagram and now <clears throat> this year like we've all like we started doing some comic cons together like we all have separate agents you know not the witches are hard they don't really do i think kathy does a few comic cons but it's hard to get bet and sarah they're they're not out and about they maybe they'll do more later with those yeah. books too but all the kids like jason who plays the it was the voice of the cat he's done a ton of other voiceover like he's young max the goofy and mm -hmm. so he's been doing these comic cons for a while uh, his agent i think represents uh vanessa and omri now so they start doing them um, thor is not really involved in that um She's gone on to continue to act and she's directing now, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, she's great. She always told me when she was like seven or I don't know what she did, seven or eight, maybe nine. Uh, yeah. She would like be like, Larry, it's your it's your money shot. It's the 35 lens close up. Don't <laughs> mess up. But she just knew like, watch your light, watch your, you know, and I'm like, one day you're going to wow. direct me in something. Yeah. She recently called me in for some project that I almost um, worked with her on, but it didn't work out through the, um, she had other people that had chosen another, yeah. another actor, but she's like, we'll work together. I'm like, that's amazing. You remember that she remembered, yeah. but um, anyway, so then um, Doug Jones connected us at the 25th, anniversary um to his his appearance agent who's cool waters um Derek Maki and Alberto they're awesome so we've been going out with with Doug so we're kind of riding his coattails even on the second one now mm -hmm. so recently we've been doing all of us have ended up at some of these comic cons and it's phenomenal to see how many people come out when they know there's more of the cast and we did photo ops with all of us yeah and we were there for hours each day doing all these. It was amazing. We were like, this is un unbelievable how big it's grown. So since then we've exchanged cell phone numbers and now we're in a, and there, and we're all, and now we're sending stuff to each other all the time. Mm -hmm. Like even Kenny's in our, yeah. our, our loop and Thor and, and that's, you know, not the, obviously the witches, but. Yeah. Yeah. They're just a bunch of witches anyway. Um, <laughs> so it's been nice. You know, we've been sending stuff back and forth that we see or hear about. So um, you mentioned Doug Jones, who is like the creature guy. Hmm. So he's done, oh gosh, he was Billy Butcherson in the movie in mm -hmm. Hocus Pocus. And he's done so many other things. And he even got nominated for the, uh, the movie got nominated for Oscar where he played the alien and all that. So someone that's that legendary, what's he like in real life? Does he, I've seen him in interviews. He's a legend. He's a legend. He's a yeah. legend. He's a, he's a, a beautiful person. Mm. He's a beautiful like soul. Him. So much love. So much love. Uh, I can't say enough about Doug as far as his kindness and his, his heart. He is such, he's so genuine and he gives so much like to every person that he meets. He's hugging them and, and you know and may and they come back they come back again and again just to get a doug hug 
you know, <laughs> honestly. And, and, you know, he's very sensitive. He's brilliant. Um, and his career is amazing. And he's very humble mm-hmm. and he's, he's such a genuine person. He, he like when he, what he says he means and, and you feel it. And, and it's, we watch him and I, I'm in awe, like even at our panels really? and, you know, a lot of times we're sitting just, a few tables down his Mm -hmm. lines are just beyond you know it's like they're waiting to see star wars for the first time (laughs) um maybe the second time but he he just gives so much and he's he's fun interesting he's a good has a good heart and uh yeah, if you haven't met Doug in person, you got to come out and meet him. We'll probably be right next to him. Wow, that's great. <laughs> so, yeah, that's I love Doug so much. He, and even uh, like the, the even the kind of people that are our uh, parents, agents, and and just all like even Tobias and all, our little group. We kind of become a family in that regard when we're out and about. It's not just about the comic cons, but we get to spend time together and go to yeah. dinners, laugh. Yeah. And, tell stories about what happened today and mm-hmm. you know some fun and some some interesting and some touching and you know all these things but um he came out like he's the kind of guy that like the sunday night we finished our thing and i i did a, a like a little fireside they call it at the church temple up in oakland where i sang some songs and talked about um uh, my my family and my parents and losing my dad and and but the bond that that we all have with him and just the love and the spirit of 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 life that that goes on beyond this life like i know my i'll see my dad again i feel him every day even though we lost him a couple years ago on this earth but doug came out him and 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 on a sunday night they dressed up in their suits and everything and they just came to support me and and they were there and they even had dinner with like the, the the group that was there and just um you know even like when my dad passed all all those hocus pocus kids like reached out to me and they were just you know they met they knew my dad too yeah. from back in the day some of them knew him even better over the years but that kind of love you know and, and it's genuine and, and caring and very sensitive to other people's needs and mm-hmm. That's the kind of people I like to be around. Yeah, correct. <laughs> so beyond Hopefully. being in that movie together, you're you have lifelong friends now from yeah. that. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah even Omri Omri came out the other night. I was playing, I was back in California doing some I was there for my 30th high school reunion, actually. <laughs> that was interesting. Um, but I played a show with my band while I was out there uh, at a local bar in Simi Valley. And Omri came out with his girlfriend and just was there hanging out. Of course, everybody wanted pictures with us because I mentioned that he was in the movie and they was. So we took some photos, but he was really just cool and laid back just yeah that's how the, all those kids are like all i say kids but we're all adults but real <laughs> easy going down to earth folks that's awesome mm-hmm. yeah that's cool that's awesome so yeah we are so thankful that you took time with us today i mean literally we know you had to work us into your schedule you got a lot going on you got, you're mean, a busy man you are uh you know you're a, a little busy it's just this october thing you know yeah. it's tough but uh the movie and everything but i'm i yeah, I've been working and uh, I'm really grateful that I can continue to work uh, yeah. as much as I love to reminisce about past movies. Mm-hmm. Like we got to keep making a living, right? And yeah. we, need yeah. to be, we need to be challenged to enjoy, continue to enjoy it or appreciate yeah. it. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so yeah, you, you are, you're busy being a bully and a truck driver and now a cowboy with yeah, a Western, uh, face. Yeah. Western bearded man. You know what? You're busy dying is what you're busy doing. Yeah. Like you're just I dying. Go, hey guys, I got to run and, and, and get killed in a movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Time for another death scene. Talk to you later. Yeah. So, um, hopefully that won't happen today. And we are so thankful that you took time with us. You are an icon in our world. We love talking oh, about you. you. And uh, it was such a pleasure to meet you and just to get a little glimpse into your life now and to hear how things were then. And yeah, just inspiring. And we just thank you so much. 
We appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you guys have a great Sunday or, yeah. and uh, happy Halloween to you. Yes, thanks. You too. Tubular! <laughs> oh, Hollywood, the shoes fit great. <laughs> <laughs> How many times I got to tell you my name at work? <laughs> Maybe you can learn to breathe through your nose. <laughs> Oh gosh. Thank you so much, Larry. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Okay, bye. Babe, I am exhausted. That what? was a lot of stuff. Yeah. Like we went to Salem and back. We <laughs> we spent some time talking to him. Ice. That was so cool. But let me tell you one thing I really liked about him. Did you notice like all the stuff that he had? Do you know how many people would just like throw away stuff that people gave them? Oh yeah. I just, at the time I was like, that's just so sweet that he just like He's very sentimental and he kept a lot of things that people actually gave him. And I thought that was really cool. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. And he was, as the bully, he was acting totally different than he really is. Than he really is. Yeah, he's yeah. the super nice guy, the sweetest guy you can meet. So yes. It was cool to see that side. It's also cool to see, like, in a movie, an iconic movie like that, that a cast that they're, they're lifelong friends. Yeah. That's so cool to hear. Yeah, that's really neat. I think it's also when you when you share something with a group of people that you know that's just never going to be recreated. You know, like, yeah. like you and I could go with another couple to Six Flags for the day and share some stories and stuff. But when you do something that's like, that big and you're never going to be in that place again we could like we could recreate six flags pretty easily but this is something that won't be recreated like yeah. i mean you, you've shared like this huge event together and so you're just going to be forever bonded in a way that like you can't be bonded with other people it's yeah. really cool very cool so, yeah so we hope you enjoyed this interview with larry pagby and we hope you love going all over Sa salem with us because that was so fun in the rain but we found all those cool spots and we had so much fun and we made it out alive we made it out alive we learned a lot about like the salem witch trials yeah, yeah. Oh, creepy. <laughs> so anyways we hope you enjoyed this as much as we did it was a lot of fun for us to make party party five and a half over and out we'll see you next time